Hello, Greta Salome Stefan Zdotich. Is that correctly pronounced? That's, that's, that's good. I tried. Um, so today you had your first rehearsal here on stage. How did it go? It went well. There are still a lot of things to work on. We haven't, we haven't put all of our content in, so there's a lot of graphics that you have yet to see. But yeah, all in all, it went really, really well, I think. So we will see more backdrop in the second rehearsal. Yes, you will. And maybe even a lot on the floor. That's interesting to know. Now, what is the story of the backdrop? What does it represent? The song is about the negative influences and the negative voices that you hear everywhere today. You know, on Facebook, Twitter, in the media, you hear it, you know, everywhere. And the hands and the shadows, it's it's really about shadows, the the graphics. And you know how the how the voices they can push you around and they can, you know, they can have you, you know, move as they as as you hear them, but it's really about reacting to them and, and really listening to the positive voices. So that's that's what the graphics are about. I see. Now this is of course your second time in the Eurovision Song Contest. You took part four years ago as well. Now how do you how can you compare those two Eurovision editions to each other so far? Um it's just like doing two different gigs you know they're never the same and for me this time round it's completely different actually i i've done so much in the in the last four years i think i've grown as an artist uh, my conviction is is stronger i think and um i have a song with a message that i that i believe in with all my heart and that's that's a big difference now, there are also other artists from 2012 returning this year, such as uh, Doni from Lithuania and Kaliopi from Macedonia. Have you had the chance to talk to them already? Yeah, I've, I haven't met Doni yet, but I met Kaliopi both in Amsterdam and London, and we just, yeah, we just giggle and hug every time <laughs> we see each other. And it's, she's just, she's an amazing person. You know, she's not just an amazing singer, but she's just an amazing person. It's so much fun to talk to her. She's a... She's definitely a well of wisdom, that one. Now, after your first participation in 2012, you released your first album, In the Silence. So is there a second album in the making? There is, yes. Uh, I've been working on my second album for quite a while now. It's, it's really within my genre, within my sound. It's kind of folky, indie, pop mixed together. Yeah. Interesting, we'll keep an eye on that. And final question, who are your favorites in this year's Eurovision Song Contest? That's a really good question. I I love so many songs. I have to admit that um, I haven't heard all of them. It's been a crazy time for me back home with gigging and performing and, and everything. So I haven't heard all of them, but I, I it's impossible to choose. There are so many great songs. The, some of the songs that I heard in Amsterdam and and um, London were, were amazing. So, yeah. That's a very diplomatic reply. Thank you very much for this interview, Greta. Thank, Thank you. you.